little cherubs. I've got the giggles. I'm so sorry. It's because I've probably had a bit too much chocolate, so I'm a bit hyper because we've just had Easter. Um, but also, my one of my sons is filming me. I think he's losing the will to live because, you know, I'm his mum and, well, you can imagine if you put him, yourself in his shoes. But he shall remain nameless because he's got to step outside the door after this. Oh, I'm a wicked mum. Anyway, I'm actually going to share with you today, for those of you who are a bit hyperactive or have trouble sleeping, I'm going to share with you a few breathing exercises, relaxing stretches to really get that lovely serotonin up from the gut, which of course helps us then make melatonin, the hormone of sleep, mood and aggression. And if we sleep well, we're, we just feel so much more able to cope and function, don't we? So that's what today is all about. So um, I'm gonna start with, I think a little bit of, oh, oh, also this is my first film I've made since becoming the wellbeing ambassador for the Anagrelic Charity. So I've had hardly any sleep because I've been so excited about that. I'm gonna crack on now, ready? Right, so if you stand, of course, as usual, I've just realized I'm wearing the perfect outfit for this which just goes to prove you don't need any special gear. You can just do it however, you know, whatever suits you. If you're in a hot country, do it in a bikini. If, if like here, it's a little bit chillier today, wrap up. Right, so here we go. So the first one is called, is a little pup. It's like being a little pup. And um, what you're going to do, I don't know why it's called this, probably because it's a bit like wagging its tail. You're going to do, make little figure eights all the way up like this. So up above your head, you can see you're pushing that serotonin, the hormone of happiness, confidence, self-esteem, up from the gut. You're opening the diaphragm. We're going to get lots of melatonin on the go. This is really, really good for our children with special needs, disabilities, different abilities who have trouble sleeping. Get them to do big figure eights as big as they can. I hope I haven't got thunder thighs. I've just read. Right, so the next one I'm going to show you is where it's like a little, like a little puppy. No, we've just done a little puppy, little cat. And it's where you're going to just bend forwards and don't, don't strain all your hamstrings on the back of your legs. Just, you're just gonna bend forwards from the hips and put your hands on the floor. If you can't do that, don't hurt yourselves for goodness sake, because you'll never sleep if you're in agony. It defeats the whole object. So just go to as far as you can. If that's your knees, that's fine. And go a little bit further next time. But the main thing is to get, get that stretch from the hips because again, that serotonin is gonna help make the melatonin. So now I'm going to do some sitting down. I've just realized, thank God for thick tights, right? Okay, so this little one I'm going to show you is you just literally sit cross-legged as if you had to behave in a school assembly. You can imagine I was really, really good at that. And you're just going to try and put your forehead on the floor. I can just, 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 well, it's more my fringe on the floor. But as I say, don't strain yourself. The most important thing is not to strain yourselves. And you can do that once. If you're really super bendy or really super hyper, you could do it a few times. And again, this is the key bit, the gut. Serotonin, melatonin. Oh, you're going to be so sick of this by the time I've finished. I've made a little list here of a few things so that I don't forget any, because these really are good. They really, really work. So the next one you can do is sit on the floor with your legs apart like this, and then you just, you're always bending from the hips because you want to get this going. And you'd, first you touch one leg, and then you touch the other. Foot, sorry, not leg. If, as I say, it's straining you and you can't quite manage to go to your foot, just go to your ankle or your knee. You're not doing it wrong. It's, it's just getting everything loosened up, everything relaxed. That's what this one is all about. So the next one I'm going to show you, I'm going to lie on my back and I'm going to put my legs up the wall. I have done a previous video where I did a headstand. Today, I'm not appropriately dressed. Now remember, if you have epilepsy, never put your feet higher than your heart. I'll take my fluffy slippers off. I've just realized I got my slippers on. Oh my God. Right, okay. So here we go. And you just put your legs up the wall like this. Your back's nice and flat. And I'm gonna hold this up because that's always I'm appropriately dressed. So here we go. A very modest legs up the wall. So you can do that. And actually, 
actually, do you know, it's so peaceful and so relaxing, this one. If I tuck that there, I can even put my... Oh, it's gorgeous. Everything stops and relaxes. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's say we're talking to you all upside down. Anyway, there was another one to do on the floor. Let me just check my little list to make sure I don't leave any out. Um, oh, yes, this one. This time I can face you. The pink slippers have gone. Right, so you cross your ankles and you cross your wrists. I hope you can see me all right. I'm only little, so I should get in the frame. There we go. Crossed ankles, crossed wrists. And you just breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. I really love that one. Wrists and ankles, it's all about emotion you've pushed down. The further down the body you go, the older the emotion. And wrists and ankles are all about survival. So in a way, it's like just letting that go, just letting that release and relax. And, and it's absolutely lovely. You know, it looks so simple, and it is so simple, but um, it's very, very effective. Right, on the next one, I'm gonna look really, really attractive, which is another reason I've not named my son today, who's kindly filming. Don't, don't laugh at this one, and I mean it. <laughs> I'm talking to him. Um, so you're gonna be like a little puffer fish. So what you're gonna do, you just, and just sit comfortably. But for some reason, I like sitting like this or cross-legged. Um, just sit really comfortably as you are, and you just take a big, deep breath in through your nose, but you're gonna hold it and you're gonna puff your cheeks up as fat and, you know, as fat as you can, like little clouds. That's what you're gonna do. And then hold on to that breath and then very, very, very gently blow it out of your mouth. And if you've had a particularly stressful day or somebody's really got up your nose or under your skin or you're feeling a bit cross, if you, you breathe that in, and then blow them away very, very gently, not aggressively. It's, it's lovely and clearing, and it's so, so simple. And you don't need to be especially mobile to do this. I hope you can all hear Boo barking in the background. This is the joys of filming from home. So here we go. cheeks that well through. I'm going to do it through my mouth. No, through your nose. Here we go. And I found my shoulders naturally came up and then released when I did that. I was just aware of my body. That's quite a good thing because shoulders is all about where we carry our load, you know. We, our shoulders very, our muscles in our shoulders work very, very hard. And then to finish, we're just going to literally, we're gonna breathe in through our noses and then out through our mouths. And you can imagine colors, you could just empty your mind, you could just be absolutely in that moment, aware of the sounds around you. Thank goodness Boo isn't barking anymore. And, and it's just a few of those. I have to put my hands on my tummy for this. my darlings you know make a lucky dip you could turn it into a game where you throw dice and whichever number you land on you know you, you keep moving and it's different little it could be a breathing exercise or a relaxation exercise a stretch a yoga pose all these things to really get that sleep hormone going and the body nice and relaxed so I shall leave you with that one for the week my son has been very kind and very well behaved which is a lot more than can be said for his mother and um, have fun with those, my darlings. Don't push yourselves too hard, but just relax into it, enjoy it. The more you relax into it, the more you'll be able to do it. So have a gorgeous, gorgeous week, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Take care, darlings, bye-bye.